Let me bring in Kate Carnell now, who heads up uh, Liberals for Yes. She's the national convener of Liberals for Yes. She's the former chief minister of the ACT for the Liberal Party and joins me from Canberra. Thanks for joining us, Kate. You must be very it's disappointed. Pleasure, you must be very disappointed with how the campaign's going. Uh, the polling does look terribly pessimistic for you. Look, the polling is a problem, there's no doubt, and it'd be silly to say anything else. But, Chris, in the last week, we've started to see a turnaround. We've, we've seen a scenario where Australians are starting to say, hey, I want to find out more. I've really got to determine how I'm going to vote in this uh, referendum. And when they actually look at what they're being asked to, to vote on and what the information around that is, uh, they're moving. So we're positive about about the move. We've got two and a half weeks to go. We've got a really solid campaign. We've got, I think, 30,000 volunteers out there door knocking. Uh, we've got uh, lots of events happening. I've done a, a number. I've done, a, I've done one with Noel Pearson, and you're right. What a great speech. Everybody should, should listen to it. So the Yes campaign certainly hasn't given up. More importantly, we're ramping up. What I hear and see, Kate, is there's a lot of these events and a lot of talking about how good this would be, I think often preaching the, to the converted. Meanwhile, the No campaign has been running a frightful fear campaign against this proposal. A lot of it just fear-mongering and inaccurate and misleading. Not all of it, but a lot of it very misleading. Where has been the front person? Where have been the front people hitting back at this misinformation and, and, and demonstrating, rebutting it, refuting it, rather than just trying to let it wash over you? Uh, look, we've, we've been attempting to do that in a very measured and, um, and reasonable manner. Um, we on the Yes side, and certainly me as a Liberal for Yes, believe really strongly this can't be about uh, personal uh, attacks, that it can't be about, I suppose, nasty politics. It's got to be about a reasonable uh, debate, as uh, Noel Pearson ran today. So that's what we're trying to do. Um, and, yes, it's really hard when some of the opponents um, are saying things that are simply not true. But, and but this is my I point. Uh, to, me, to me, sorry to cut you off, but to me it looks like the campaign has yeah. been framed around as if there was a bipartisan approach. But because you've got the coalition so committed to defeating this, because it's so partisan, it's more like a normal election campaign. And if they're running out there saying that the voice will be more than advisory or this is dividing the country by race or, or that it's going to lead to automatically to a treaty and reparation, someone has to hit back and explain to them why this is all wrong, that the wording is clear. This can only make representations. It is only advisory. Look, I have to say, Chris, we're all out there doing it. Noel is, uh, Sean, you know, a range of people who are leading this campaign are out there every day saying exactly that. The hard bit is, as we know, fear campaigns are easy to run um, and campaigns that are based upon good information and are attempting to get people to engage with the the referendum are harder, but we're getting there. I think Australians want to do the right thing by Indigenous people. They're sure. wanting to have a scenario where Indigenous... It's not more of the same. It's not more about spending a lot of money on things that don't work very well. It's about, as Noel said, giving Indigenous people the responsibility to deliver on the voice and the outcomes. For me as a Liberal... And it's one of the reasons that I'm doing this for the Yes campaign. I believe in personal responsibility, community responsibility. I believe if you give people responsibility for their own outcomes, the outcomes are inevitably better. And that's what The Voice does. And it also says doing more of the same, doing stuff that hasn't worked and just cost a lot of money, isn't what I believe as a Liberal. As a Liberal, yeah. I believe... If policies aren't working, you change them. And that's what we're trying to do. Do you believe, as a Liberal, that it's been the wrong call to make this a party position? There are so many federal Liberal moderates who support the voice but are not campaigning for it because, of course, they don't want to go against their leader or fall out of favour. Uh, are you worried by that silence or should some of these people speak out more robustly? Look, I understand how hard it is for a, a lot of people who are facing pre-selections and all, and all other things. But let's be fair, what would have been a much better outcome is a bipartisan um, approach. Uh, 
a referendum without bipartisan supports never got up in Australia. So we've got a, a lot of work to do to get this over the line, but it's possible. If we get people to focus on what this is really about, to, watch, to get them to watch Noel Pearson's speech today, I believe Australians believe in a fair go. And we haven't given Indigenous people a fair go, and this will help that happen. Kate, thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Thanks, Chris. Kate Carnell there, National Convener of uh, Liberals for a Yes Vote.